Kratos. I see something. We can take this way back to the camp. I can help with the vines. Now embed your blades into the glowing vines and light it. Your brother seemed open to your return. Oh, I'm sure he'd love nothing more than for everything to go back to how it was. Leaving the responsibilities of leadership to me. You learn to use what you have. It's not as though I want to be angry with Freyr. He's my brother. He was the most important person in the world to me for half my life. <laughs> These plants are the same as those we saw earlier. Frost should make quick work of their poison. should hold the frost, even in the axe's absence.
Watch out, those are wisps. Powerful manifestations of runic magic. They're impervious to physical attack. My arrows can disrupt their protection spell. Could I ever think of this place as home again? After all that's happened. Skull and Hadi are in Vanaheim? We learned the Giants rescued them from Odin and brought them here. And look. The sunlight wakes the sleeping roots. See how they stretch to welcome the sun? Beautiful, no? A far cry from the sheets of Midgard snow I've grown accustomed to. The Eastern Migration. It's just as I remember it. At least the whole realm hasn't fallen to predators and occupiers. I guess there's still something to be fought for here. Something to defend even after so much damage has been done. Maybe that goes for Freyr, too. <clears throat> we don't have the equipment for this.
You won't be able to damage it without destroying the mother. It's a large, bulbous thing. You can't miss it. I think you'd have better luck burning it. Go! 
So much has happened since I last saw Freyr. I'm not even sure where to begin. What do you want from him? An apology would be a start. I want to forgive him. I'd like to think he's changed. He's all I have left now. Did you ever apologize to Deimos? It is difficult to seek forgiveness when you feel unworthy. Now, how to get across? My sigil arrow should be able to carry the fire across the river to reach the bramble.
This can be powerful, even for the unworthy. My wife, Faye, taught me that. Hmm. Well, be glad you have a spouse to remember fondly. Licarmer Petrias Garrison. Oh, All my former spouse taught me was that there's no limit to the depths to which a soul can sink into darkness. Tricked me into marriage to spare my home and took my home just the same. Scattered my people to the wind. Maybe it's time somebody drew the line. Maybe it's time someone makes Groa's prophecy come true. I will not wish for war, Freya. 
War is a terrible thing, Kratos. But some things are even worse. You know, if Atreus rushes to Ragnarok, you may not be able to stop him. I will. And if you fail? I have prepared him to survive without me, if he must. Like me, but strangers, not so much. I see that. So what's next for you, if not preparing for war? I do not know, but I will take no chances with Atreus. Well, you may want to think fast, unless you want someone to make that choice for you. Ready? As I ever will be. at last yes uh let's celebrate you reclaim the throne we'll rebuild me and you against the world huh just like the old days i'm not staying i don't understand you're here maybe together we can take back what's ours i only just got back what's mine I still have work to do. You've seen what's left of the realm, right? Do we really mean that little to you? You question my loyalty? Vanaheim turned its back on me. Oh, you still can't let go of that old fight. It was my duty to save as many of our people as possible. My responsibility. One you didn't take seriously then, and from the looks of it, one you don't now. You think this is a game to me? Yeah. <sighs> we lost 
everything to that maniac you called husband. The man's family set me on fire. How did you expect me to react? Like my brother. Like the boy that used to have my back no matter what. And who I always supported no matter how selfish his choices. I expected you to come and find me. That no matter how hurt or angry, you wouldn't abandon me. Freya, please. I thought you were dead. I've had to live lifetimes with those last awful words I said to you. Have any idea what that's like? Knowing that your own selfishness hurt the person that you cared about the most. Abandon you. Oh, Freya. I mourned you. Oh, I've missed you so much. And I you. But I won't bind myself to another realm when I finally have my freedom. I'll send help, though. And I will come back. I promise. This hasn't been your home for a long time, has it? Do what you gotta do. All right, all right, that's enough. Ain't y'all got nothing better to do than gawking at family sorting squabbles? Come on, you two. Not you. Got a few things to square with y'all. First is you collecting your spare heads. Second is that sigil magic I smell on your boat. Reckon that's an idea I'll steal. How's about I set you up with some sonic mojo? Call it a trade. Very well. Third of all, if and you ain't staying here, Bears mentioning that Sindri and I find ourselves running a flop house for unemployed gods. If you're done freezing your backside off in Midgard, maybe come back with Beardo there. Check up on your old pal Tyr. That's kind of you, bro. I may do just that. Well, all right then. I'll meet y'all back at the house. Lesson you want me to fix anything up first. Well, brother. Here to meet our new allies, or shall we depart? Uh, excuse me, can y'all stop and help a lady out? <laughs> Don't hurry on my account. Yeah? Freyr found her half-dead in the jungle. 
She probably escaped the Blothunder breeding farm north of here. We all told her she was beyond saving. She healed and hasn't left us since. She's a sweet girl. <laughs> She's pure of heart. Believes in your goodness, even if you don't. You make up your mind. And Lady Freya? This'll draw attention from your face, at least. Actually, looks pretty good on you. Now, don't let anyone tell you I can't handle delicate work. Can't see. A little panache for you. What are you looking for? No refunds. I remember where to look for a gateway. Follow me. Well, you two seem to be getting on since completing your mission. Dare I hope this alliance has some staying power after all? It seems to me we share a common enemy. Kratos, you may not accept that Ragnarok is inevitable, but you're smart enough to know Odin is a threat. Whatever comes next, our best chance of surviving it is to work together. Do you agree? I do. Then as to Brock's offer, you can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? No further temptations towards terrible vengeance? Not against you. Either of you. You have my word.
This lock is different from others you might know. You'll need an enchantment on your chisel to use it. Bruna. Go ahead, carve the letter. Suna. It's an incantation. Suna. The elves in Flair's camp mentioned a gate like this, and I'll find it. Get on about some sacred light elf sanctum out past the barrens. A trip to Alfheim. Well, we can decide at the gateway. This boat should get us there if we can clear those vines. Remember what to do? There's a fallen log in the river. It has something on it I don't recognize. Looks like soundstone to me. I'm sure those new arrows Brock gave you would make quick work of that. <laughs> Tears really alive? Aye. Not exactly ship shape. He sleeps in a broom closet now. But he's adjusting. How did you find him? Largely, that's down to Atreus having figured out how to access the prophecies giants reserved for their own kind. We only learned of it ourselves after Thor and Odin came calling. To your home? Is it still standing? Barely. But all the violence was seemingly just a distraction to let Odin have a private word with Atreus. Odin was alone with your son? Did he tell you what they spoke of? Yes. He said that Odin invited him to Asgard to help him find his answers. The answers he's rushing into fate in search of. That's troubling. Well, if you're ready to talk to him, the Mystic Gateway is ahead. If not, I have some unfinished business up this river I could use your help with. Or we can follow up on that elven sanctum out in Alfheim's desert. Hmm. If you want to continue exploring, we'll need to remove that log in the river. What is this? The crest of Skirnir, never quite as smart as he thought. <laughs> Good. We can explore the river now and hopefully right some old wrongs.
We don't have the equipment for this. What is your unfinished business? I left something behind, near the falls. Your wedding site? Now why do you want to be going back there? To be free of the bonds of my marriage. And to Asgard. I think you severed that a long time ago. Not completely. Not enough. Guide us. My people settled this river many ages ago. Thousands traveled it on pilgrimage to the Shrine of Worship. But then the Aesir came. This is all that's left. Reavers, of course. Yeah. <laughs> 
That brazier. Maybe it could help with those vines. That brazier. Maybe it could help with those vines. That brazier. Maybe it could help with those vines. Nook and saw. Be ready. A nook and saw. Be ready. Get that thing to shut up! Ugh! <laughs> 
Another drawbridge. We'll need to lower it. Learn anything? Something hanging from that tree above us. Huh! <laughs> 
There must be a way to transfer the fire from one side to the other. Looks like that worked. <laughs> well, that did it. Brother, you ever think of cooking meat with those blades of yours? No. They would foul the meat. Oh, because of the magic on them? The blood. Ah, yes. Carry on, then. Freya. There's something I've always wanted to ask. What was it Grimthur whispered to you? Who? Grimthur, the son of Thormur, the stonemason, who disguised himself and built Asgard's wall. Oh, yes. One of the many occasions Odin saw fit to involve me in a wager without my consent. I wish I could say that was the worst of his husbandly habits. What wager? I've told this story, brother. And now she may tell her own. There isn't that much to tell. I knew nothing of it at first, surely because Odin didn't expect to lose the bet. A mysterious mason had to build the entire wall in three turns of the season, 
Two. It was two. And if he was late, he'd be owed nothing. Ah, but enough of that for now. Well, brother, before you see the lad again, might we discuss an approach? He will tell me where he has been. That is my approach. Ah, classic Spartan diplomacy. Wait. Did you say Odin invited him to Asgard, and then he disappeared for two days? Aye. But surely the lad's got more sense than to... Don't underestimate Odin's powers of persuasion. He filled my son's head with lies. Why wouldn't he do the same with yours? Sucker, he owes me one. Fight me now and eternally. Well, looky there. Glad you can make the trip, your goddessness. I put your sigil magic on the young turd's bow, but then he and Sindri got into it over something. Mm. Atreus. Well, come on then. Hey, Tear! Wake up! You got company. Now, why don't you just make yourself at home in Sindri's so-called study over yonder? You sure he won't mind? Mind? Guilty grill. You better screw his head back on. And I mean tightly. So you're back. Are you ready to answer me? About what? Where did you go? Who did you see? Was it Odin? What? Is that what you think? Do you deny it? <laughs> Answer me! Did you go to Asgard? No! Of course not! But so what if I did? It's my future, it's my life! You are my son! Then why don't you trust me? If you want me to trust you, then tell me the truth! The truth is you're being a complete asshole! Laddie, you know that's no way to change a man's mind! He doesn't have any faith in me! It's fine if he keeps secrets. It's fine if Mom did. It is not fine. Her secrets are hard to be stuck with this path. Oh, okay. So you don't believe in her anymore either? This is not about your mother. What you have done is lie. Wonder where I learned that. That's quite enough. Since when do you always take his side? Since he became the one making sense. Look, I was only thinking about going to Odin. But I swear it's for a good reason. There is no good reason to go to Odin. He'll only cloud your mind. But I'd be going for us. I, I gotta stop something bad from happening. Something bad did happen. Look at me, at Freya, at Tia. Odin did this to us. What's well, got everyone caterwauling all of a sudden? Atreus wants to go to Asgard. Asgard? Get kicked in the head or something? Great, I guess everybody's against me now. You must choose who you're going to be. Are you going to continue to lie and keep things from me? Or are you my son? Choose? I never get to choose. Just leave me alone. Listen. Let go of me! Listen! Let go! What the fuck? Atreus! It's Sindri. Just, just try to keep control. <laughs> Just helping me stay warm. 
Alpha! Yep. Home to home. <sighs> Gotta find some shelter. Something out here doesn't want to kill me. 